Hey guys, Karen here for the new special that just aired on Fox tonight called The Passion. And I really know this is going to be going into it. I figured this is something that I check out. And I wasn't originally playing on watching it, but I'm like, you know what? I might as well check it out. Grease Live turned out really well. This probably is going to turn out very well. Too, but I was also worried that this would be very overtly religious. Now, I, I'm a religious person. I really am. I'm a religious person and things like that. I have faith. I'm not going to say, you know, talk about that or anything. You know, regardless of what faith you have, that's great for you. Even if you're an atheist, all right, that's fine. That's just who you are. I was worried, though, that this really would be... Some, I didn't really know what this was going to be going into it. You know, they didn't really advertise. I just heard about it once, and I'm like, all right, maybe I'll check this out. So I checked out The Passion, which basically is the story of Jesus's final days. But let me just say, after watching The Passion, The Passion for me could have been really great. There are just so many things that really bring this down. And it's really sad to say because the things about this that are great are great. The problem is that The Passion... Um, you know, the stuff that could have made the Passion Greats is severely underutilized because of it com mostly all being told to us by Tyler Perry. And there's not a lot I can say about this, I have to say. There are things that I wish I could say, but I can't say a lot about it because we didn't really get to see a lot of it. This is supposed to be all about Jesus' final days, and yes, it very much is that. The problem is, we don't really get a lot of acting in this, and that kind of sucks. And I understand, oh, there's not a lot of room for acting, this is a story that everyone knows, we've seen it done a million times. I understand that, but you have performers that are playing these roles, and we really can get to see them act. And for me, this could have been a lot different. What we do get instead is Tyler Perry directly telling us everything that's going on, and then getting to a crucial moment where, oh, it's time for a song. And I really didn't like the way that this was structured, I have to say. The way that Tyler Perry did as a host, he did a good job, I definitely will say that. As a host, I thought Tyler Perry was fine. I don't have a problem with him. He was very good for what he did. My main problem is that he pretty much just told us the entire story, rather than us seeing the events unfold. I'd much rather see the events unfold than him telling me the story word for word. I mean, yes, pretty much everyone knows this story. We don't really need to told those. But for people who didn't, I understand that. But it's a great example of show, not tell. Like I said, these actors didn't really get a chance to shine. And let's talk about the acting, because there isn't much of it. I mean, a lot of it is done through Son. And there's a big part of me that feels like maybe this just should have been sung through. I really do think that, but I'll get into that. Let's get to our main lead, Jen Carlos Canella as Jesus. Now... Jen Carlos Canella, I've never heard of him before. I haven't heard of anything he's done. I know that he's very famous in like Spanish countries and things like that. I believe he's a Spanish artist. Um, you know, part you know, um if he's not, then sorry, but you know, I looked him up on Wikipedia. Most of the things he did um were in Spanish, so I'm assuming that he's famous in like Spanish speaking countries. I'm not really sure. <laughs> I really thought he was miscast in this. I really did. I thought he did an okay job as Jesus, like he kind of understood the role, but most of his lines came across very wooden, very dispassionate, and you really didn't feel like he was Jesus. He just felt like this regular guy, and I understand this is supposed to be Jesus told in modern times, but he didn't really feel like Jesus to me. Like, it really didn't seem like someone that everyone would follow and was really interesting. You know, to me, it really seemed like he was reading these lines off a script, and his songs were fine. I have no problem with his singing. He did a great job with singing, but him as an actor, I really didn't see. What he did do a good job with, I think, is portraying the vulnerability of Jesus. That is something he definitely got done very well. Like, when Jesus is eventually, you know, condemned and brought down and things like that, he did a good job with that. I definitely will say that. I think, especially towards the second half, he got a lot better. But all the pre-recorded stuff that he did, I really didn't feel it. I just wasn't feeling it. Something about him I did not think was that great, and I thought he was just okay. He wasn't amazing, but he did a very good job in the second half, but the first half was just a bit choppy, and I thought he was just okay here. Trisha Yearwood. This is what I don't understand with Trisha Yearwood. Everyone else got pre-recorded segments, and Trisha Yearwood, I understand that Mary isn't in the, you know, everything that we saw with Mary here wasn't in the Bible. They were just kind of picturing how Mary would feel if she thought about what was going on with Jesus. I understand that. But me personally, I thought it was very weird that she was the only one that didn't have any pre-recorded segments. It was very strange. They could have easily just recorded something with her and have it on the 
you know, the screen, everything, and have us see it, that definitely would have been fine. I thought she did a really good job, though. Like, you really saw that, you know, side of her. I mean, you really have to think in Mary's side. What would she do if she knew what was going on with her son? How would she react knowing she'd probably lose him and things like that? It's a very hard role to play, and I think Trisha Yearwood, for the most part, did a really good job. But like Jen Carlos Canellis, she really didn't get a chance to shine because all she does is, here is Mary performing this song, here is Mary performing this song, and it really didn't work as well, I think, as it could have. I really think that could have done this differently with Mary. Maybe just give her a few lines and I would have been fine with that, but she really didn't have any lines. And to me, I didn't really feel like she was acting rather than feeling the emotion of the song. That's really what it came across to me. And she wasn't bad by any means. She's a very talented singer, I definitely will say. And then all the songs she sang, especially her You'll Never Walk Alone. Oh my god, that was so good when she performed. I thought she did an amazing job with that. But Oh, also broken. Her broken, you know, when she has to sing, knowing that her son is being crucified and everything, very hard to listen to, but she did a very good job with that. I will say that she definitely did a good job, but a lot of times it just felt like she was feeling the emotion of the song and the emotion of the performance rather than she was playing a character, and it really didn't seem like she was. And that's how it was with most of them. Most of them didn't really feel like they were playing characters. It felt more like they were just there to perform a song, and then they went away. Prince Royce, I thought, did a very good job, though, as St. Peter. I thought he was really good here, and I like that he tried to take this role seriously. The problem was I thought he was a very underutilized character. Like, he didn't really have much to do here. He has one really great scene where everyone's accusing him of following following Jesus, and he has to deny it. It's a very powerful scene, but other than that, he didn't really have many standout moments, and I really don't think that Prince Royce had much to do here, but he did a good job for what he had. The best, in my opinion, honestly, was Chris Daughtry. I thought he was perfect as Judas, honestly, and even though, like everyone else, he didn't have a lot to do, I really thought he had just enough. Like, everything with Judas, I think Judas was the most developed character out of everyone here, because he was the only one that some of the stuff that what he was doing wasn't directly told by Tyler Perry. He did a very good job with this. I mean, when he is betraying Jesus, you understand he doesn't necessarily want to do this. It's just he doesn't understand Jesus. He doesn't really agree with some of the things that Jesus is doing, and he has to be the one to condemn him, and it's really evil. Well, he has to be the one to betray him, because, you know, Jesus always says, one, you will betray me. He did a very good job with that, especially in the songs that he did, and, and especially some of the way they did some of the songs, which I'll get into, but I definitely thought Chris Daughtry did a very good job here, and he really understood the emotion and just human side of this character. This isn't a bad guy, but it is someone that realizes that someone needs to bring him down, and the person that needs to bring him down has to be the person that has been closest to him because Judas is Jesus's most trusted ally and he has to be the one to bring him down. It is very sad to see, definitely to see him have to bring him down and everything, but it's the story and I think he did a good job and I like that they stuck to the story. Definitely that was something they did very well and I really did appreciate that. So I thought for the most part, Chris Daughtry did a very good job here, and like I said, out of everyone, I thought he definitely was the best, I have to say. Um, Seal, I thought, was also really good here. He plays a very small role as Pontius Pilate, but he is the one that sentenced Jesus to death, and... It's a sad scene, I mean, because to him, he has no problem doing this. It's his job, it's what he wants everyone, you know, it's what he knows everyone wants him to do. But his mad world, you really do see that he understands what he's doing. He understands he has to bring this man to death, and it's hard for him to do, but he just realizes that he has to do it, and I think they did a good job with that. But like I said, the acting for me wasn't necessarily acting because they didn't really get to do much of that. Mainly, like I said, because Tyler Perry is um, telling us mainly what's going on the entire time, and that really didn't work as well for me as I wanted it to. Now let's get to the other side of this, because the other side of the passion was, um all of these people in New Orleans carrying a cross when Jesus, you know, when eventually Jesus is crucified to bring the cross there, and we heard a bunch of stories about what happened in New Orleans and things like that, and to me, these are great stories. They're very passionate stories about things that happen, and yeah, it's very sad to hear, definitely, these stories that happen and everything that happened with that, but me personally, the thing with this is that while these are great stories, and I understand they're supposed to be part of Jesus, it really detracted from the main story here. To me, yes, very sad what happened to Hurricane Tree, and yes, it's great that these people have faith and that they believed in Jesus and everything. I like they try, at least they tried to make a connection, I will definitely say that, but me personally, I really feel this would have been a lot better. Cut out the Tyler Perry stuff, cut out the 
New Orleans stuff and just focus on the story. Have it even be sun through because let me just say, the best part of this for me was how much the songs connected to what was going on. I don't necessarily know how they were able to do this, but each song they did, it seemed like it was written for this. Like, all the songs really worked very well. Some of them did not exactly work. Like, the songs that Yolanda Adams sang, I don't really know why she was here. It just seemed like they needed someone to come out, so they had her come out. It was, it was very strange to me. It was kind of like what they did with Grease Live with Jessie J. That just worked better because she introduced it. This just felt a little bit strange, but I really like the way they handled it here. Um, all the songs really seemed to work well for me, especially, like, Bring Me to Life, things like that. Um, and, he, and especially the way they did some of the songs, like Demons being a, a, a duet between Jesus and Judas, realizing that Judas is the man that's going to, you know, um, bring him down, is a very powerful song. A lot of the songs were very powerful. That They did a very good job with that, and the singing also was very good. You really saw the passion in them, and they did a very good job with that. My other big problem this, and this might seem like it's not that much of an issue, but for me this was a huge issue, and I thought it was very distracting was every time a song came on, the audience knew. We cut to the audience throughout every performance. We see them either rocking out or in tears, and it really helped me from, it really held me back from taking this as seriously as I should have, because this is a very serious subject, and cutting back to the audience is just dumb. I don't know why they were doing that. There was nothing going on. I don't need to see people singing along to the music. I don't need to see that. It's stupid, and it's not something that they need to do here. I don't understand why they did that. I thought that was really dumb. And I really was not a fan of that. I really think that that was something that ruined this. And a lot of me thought, and I really thought this should have been sun through. Cut out some of the stuff with Tyler Perry. Have it be completely sun through and things like that. Yeah, it would be daring to do, but the songs were so strong. And that part of the show was just so passionate. I really felt the passion in these actors. Like, they wanted to give really good performances. They just didn't really get to shine because most of the story was told by Tyler Perry. And they didn't really get to do much there. And also, the whole thing with the cross and the interviews throughout it... Some of them were so dumb. She's like, oh, we're not getting the cross up yet, but we're hanging in. It's just like, I don't care about your journey with the cross. I really don't care. And if you guys don't know, the, this isn't the first time this has happened. The Passion has been done in many different countries. This is just the first time it's happened in America and... I do really appreciate that they did that, that they brought it to America, and I think they did a good job with bringing in New Orleans, you know, a town that struggled so much. But overall, for me, I didn't really feel the, the emotion I want to. I did think they got the message across of whether what happens, you know, you gotta have faith. That's really what it's about. Whether you believe in Jesus or not, you gotta have faith. You gotta keep that faith within you, and it will it will take you, you know, it will take you through many dark times. I think they did a very good job with that. But for me, I really felt this was a very underutilized production. It could have been a lot stronger than it was, and because of that, I am going to give The Passion a 3.5 out of 5 or a B-. minus. I really want to enjoy this a lot more than I did. I think the actors did a great job. I think the singing was fine. For me, though, there was a lot of things holding it back, such as Tyler Perry's narration or such as the cutting back to the audience, and uh, it really didn't get to be as great as it was. But overall, guys, my thoughts on The Passion. What did you guys think of this production? I really wanted to enjoy this. I really did. I'm glad I checked it out, because like I said, there were some very strong things about it, but it just wasn't as great as I thought it could have been. Um, but I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on it, and I will see you guys in my next video, which will be for Daredevil, and I will see you guys for that. Okay, bye.